Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application with the ABP framework, but we'll be using the minimalist single-layer startup template. In this version of the video, the UI framework is going to be Blazor WebAssembly, and the database provider is going to be MongoDB. And this is what we're going to be building. It's a very simple to-do app web application. And let's type in something. Let's say feed the cat clean the house, and for example, make some coffee. So we can type in, and we can get the list, and we can also delete. Simple as that. Let's get started. And the first thing I'll do is copying the install command, which will install the ABP CLI for me. Copied it, and I'm going to open up a terminal right here, and I'm going to paste it. And as you can see, it's already been installed. Next up, I'm going to navigate to the desktop and then I'm going to create a new folder right here and I'm going to name it to do app, same name as our solution name, and I'm going to navigate to it. And then I'm going to copy the command that will create the solution for me. But watch out, this startup template is still new and we are in the preview version right here. So we're using this command to create the solution. This all depends on the version. If 7.1 is stable or the latest right here or later, then you can use this command. But if you're still seeing it as a preview version, then use this command. I'm going to copy it and I'll paste it right here. As you can see, the name of the solution is to do app. The template is app no layers. The UI framework is Blazor WebAssembly and the database provider is MongoDB and the version since it's the preview version and it's been created. Let's take a look. And this is how the minimalist startup template looks for Blazor WebAssembly. It's obviously different from the app or the domain driven design template. And it's also different from its fellow single layer startup templates. It's only got three projects, the Blazor project, the contracts project, and the host project. The Blazor application contains the Blazor code and the client side. The host application hosts and serves the Blazor application, and the contracts project is a shared library between these two projects. And the first thing we'll do is copying this command and pasting it in the directory of the host project. I'm going to open up a terminal right here, and I'll paste in the command right here. And this will create the database and seed the initial data. Now let's take a look at the application before we make any changes. And this is how it initially looks. Let's log in. And this is how it looks off the shelf. We have the administration section right here with both the tenant management and the identity management. The tenant management offers you to create a new other tenant with its own identity management or you can use the identity management that we have in the administration right here with both the roles and the users. We've also got our project settings right here. And now let's stop running the project and get coding. And the first thing I'll do is defining the entity. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. We're going to create a new to do item class under the entities folder of the host project. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to find the host project right here. And here is the entities folder and I'm going to add it right here. A new class to do item. And I'll paste the code right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root and good is the primary key. And next up is database integration. I'm going to copy this property and I'm going to paste it in the to do app DB context class under the data folder. Here's the data folder and here's the to do app DB context and I'll paste it right here. Let's import the missing references. And then I'm going to copy the mapping code and I'll paste it in the create model method. Here's the create model method and I'll paste it right here. And now we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do item stable in the database. And now we're going to create the application service. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application that we've talked about. Getting the list of the to do items, creating a new to do item and deleting an existing to do item. Same thing as the example we saw at the beginning of the video. But before we do that, we first need to create a DDO class that will be used in the application service. You see, application services typically get and return DDOs or data transfer objects instead of entities. And so we need to create a new to do item DDO class under the services in the DDOs folder of the to do app contracts project. So I'll copy this 
and I'm going to find the contracts project and here's the services DDOs and I'm going to create it right here to do item DDO and I'm going to paste in the code right here and as you can see it's a very simple DDO class that matches our entity with both the text and the GUID and now we're going to create the interface let's create a new I to do app service interface under the services folder of the contracts project let's copy this and here's the services folder in the contracts project let's create it right here I to do app service and we'll paste it in right here and we've got the three methods right here and now that we're done with the DDOs and the interface in the contracts project we're going to implement the application service let's create a new to do app service class under the services folder of the host project so I'm going to copy this and let's get back to the host project and we'll go to the services and it's right here so to do app service and I'll paste it in right here now this class inherits from the application service class which will help us implement those use cases getting the list of the to-do items creating a new to-do item and deleting an existing to-do item and it also implements our interface with the three methods right here and now we're going to implement the methods right here the first method I'll copy is getting the to-do items I'm gonna copy this and I'll paste it right here then I'm gonna copy the create method I'll paste it right here and last but not least the deleting method I'm gonna copy it and I'll paste it right here now ABP provides default generic repositories and we've used one right here we've injected the I repository which is the default repository for the to-do item entity and then we've used its methods right here the get list async insert async and the delete async these are all standard repository methods to deal with the database and now that we're done with the application service we can finally code our user interface and we'll start off with the C sharp class of the index page I'm gonna copy this and I'll go to the blazor project and here's the pages and here's the class and I'm gonna paste it right here now this class uses the I to do app service to get the list of the to do items and it then manipulates the to do items list after each create and delete operation and this way we don't need to refresh the whole to do list from the server every time we create or delete something and next up we're going to copy the index razor page it's right here and I'm going to paste it right here and last but not least the styling I'm going to copy it and it is right here and by that we can run the host project again and this is our minimalist to do app web application let's type in something let's for example say feed the cat clean the house and also let's say make some coffee so we can type in we can get the list and we can also delete And that's how to create a minimalist to-do list web application using Blazor WebAssembly and MongoDB. See you next time.